A look at our Farm Bureau camera this midday pretty much tells the story. This is what we're going to be dealing with for the next few days. Gradually, the humidity will return, but really not expecting much until we get into the latter part of the day on Friday. So today, tomorrow looking great. Overnight tonight, it's going to be another cool, crisp evening. And even Friday morning is going to be on the cool side, but then that's when things will change heading into the weekend. So enjoy the next couple of days. Not much way of any clouds anywhere near Texas for that matter. You have to go way out into the Gulf waters to find some clouds and that is part of the storm system that brought us the cooler, drier air, bringing a heavy rain, severe storms to parts of the southeastern U.S. and snow, rain, freezing rain, that sort of thing up around the Great Lakes. So this is a pretty rambunctious storm system for this time of year. For us though, again, we're on the back side of it now and uh, high means dry, sinking air, no rain, very few clouds. This area of high pressure will eventually start to move a little bit further off towards the east and southeast. That'll bring our winds down from the south late tonight, early tomorrow, but not really affecting our temperatures all that much. So uh, at least not make them any warmer. I still think we're going to be cooler tomorrow morning than what we even saw this morning. So 80 degrees for your average high temperature this afternoon. Those winds, notice how they're coming in from the north and northwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But then we're going to put future cast into motion here. You're going into the early evening hours. Now they're starting to shift more towards the north and north northeast or so. And then by daybreak tomorrow, that's when we'll start to see them shift around towards the south. Eventually, they'll be in the east for uh, later on tonight after midnight or so. And then by daybreak tomorrow, that's when we really start to see them flip around. So the relative humidity values are going to be low once again in the teens to 20s this afternoon. So just be aware of that we still have very dry vegetation out there. The winds aren't too bad. But just again, not a good day to be doing outdoor burning just because mainly of that low relative humidity. And of course, that dry vegetation is not improving. 80 degrees as the kiddos head home this afternoon with those north to northwest winds. Elsewhere across the area, how about near 70 degrees out on the island? Low to mid 70s against the coast there. And then pretty consistent temperatures east to west across the area. 84 now, the valley average high for the day. We should be at 63 during the overnight hours. Look at these numbers tomorrow morning. Lower to middle 50s. Would not be surprised, especially as you get into northwestern portions of Hidalgo, Stark Counties, seeing maybe some brief upper 40s tomorrow morning before we start to see things warm up rapidly. Dry air does heat up very efficiently, and you'll notice a big swing in the temperatures for tomorrow. Out on the island today, surf running 68 degrees and 3 to 5 feet. Rip current risk is high. The UV index is extreme. That means without any sunscreen, you burn as little as 10 minutes. Air quality is moderate again today and grass is on the high side as far as your pollen counts. Seven day forecast then tomorrow. Look at this 51 to 87, almost a 40 degree temperature swing again. That's dry air working uh, for us there. Then 55 on Friday morning, lower 80s on Friday. And we're going to see the temperatures start to gradually warm up real slowly going into the upcoming weekend. But what you're going to notice more so than anything else, Daisy, is the humidity that you love so much no. is on the return for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. When Monday, you though, we're going to take your pick. Right? I know, right? Uh, coming up uh, after the break, we're going to take another look at the uh, eclipse forecast for Monday. We're still holding out hope that we get those clouds out, but. Right now, it looks like a lot of clouds, not just here in Texas, but the eastern half of the country, which is not a good thing. We don't want that. Oh.